Hi, I'm Bruce Gordon, and today we'll be taking you on a tour of Mono Creek, which is really hard to get to on foot. Hi, Bruce. My name's Steve Evans. I'm the Wild Rivers Director for the California Wilderness Coalition, which is also known as Cal Wild. Cal Wild works to protect the wild places on our public lands throughout California's wilderness, as wild and scenic rivers, and with other designations. We work closely with local groups and activists, and uh, we have been working very closely with local folks on the Central Coast Heritage Protection Bill, which would protect numerous wilderness areas and wild and scenic rivers in the Central Coast counties of Ventura, Santa Barbara, and San Luis Obispo counties. Upstream of Gibraltar Reservoir on the Los Padres National Forest, Mono Creek flows into the Santa Inez River. The Forest Service considers Mono Creek to be one of the most unique streams in Southern California. An area of high ecological significance, Mono Creek is home to several endangered and sensitive wildlife species. In recognition of the creek's unique values, the Forest Service determined nearly 25 miles of Mono Creek to be eligible for National Wild and Scenic River Protection. You can see Mono Creek here on the left as it flows into the Santa Inez River. At this point, a rich riparian forest of mature cottonwoods, sycamores, and oaks provide important habitat for endangered songbirds, including the least bells vireo and southwest willow flycatcher. We're flying over a segment of Mono Creek proposed as a national wild and scenic river in the Central Coast Heritage Protection Act. This important bill passed the House earlier in 2020 and is currently pending in the Senate with two other bills that affect public lands in California. The historic Ogilvy Ranch on Mono Creek is on our left. It was a major Chumash Indian village site, and then European settlers established a cattle ranch there, which later became a vacation home. An agrarian commune grew organic vegetables there in the 1970s, and then it became the site of a notorious murder in 1981. Upstream from the ranch, the wild segment of Mono Creek flows from the proposed 54,000 acre addition to the Dick Smith Wilderness. Doesn't look like much water in there right now. How big does the water get? Mono Creek drains a very dry area in the Central Coast Range. Segments of the creek only flow seasonally, but where rock formations force water above ground, there are pools providing refuge for endangered populations of arroyo toad and critical habitat for the endangered California red-legged frog. Sure looks like it'd be uh, difficult to access this area, but it is spectacular. We're flying over the trackless Mono Narrows. It's a dramatic gorge of sandstone rock and house-sized boulders. And here, Mono Creek drains the heart of the proposed addition to the Dick Smith Wilderness. Only a few people a year brave the wilds of this area to explore it. Upstream of the Don Victor Fire Road, Mono Creek flows from the existing Dick Smith Wilderness. Established in 1984, the wilderness is named after Santa Barbara resident Richard Smith, who was a writer, artist, and naturalist, and perhaps was best known as an early California condor expert. Above the wilderness named after Dick Smith, endangered condors can be seen gliding through the thermals, and sensitive California spotted owls nest in the small groves of big cone Douglas fir. To learn more about how you can help protect Mono Creek and the public wildlands through which it flows, please visit www.cowwild.org or the Central Coast Wild Heritage webpage at centralcoastwild.com.